Hey everyone! Today, I'm going to show you how you can achieve the sweet and neutral eye look, Abby style. Let's get started! These are the products I'm already wearing on my face. I'll put the names in the description box. Now we can start on the eyes. I start by using a primer. This helps the eyeshadow stay on longer and not smear all over the place. Next, I put on a base. This is NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, though I kind of melted it down and put it in a pot. This gives the eyeshadow something to stick to and helps the colors to be more vibrant. Next, it's time for eyeshadow. I'm taking a large eyeshadow brush and using the color WOS or Walk of Shame and I'm patting it across my entire lid. You can really use any lighter skin color shadow that you have though. With the same large eyeshadow brush, I'm taking the color Naked 2, which is kind of a taupish color and I'm going to be patting it from the midsection of my eyelid to my outer corner. Then I'm taking my crease brush and the color Faint, which is kind of a warm medium brown color. I'm starting from my outer corner and then I'm going to sweep it along into my crease. This helps to give the eyes depth. Then I'm going to take my little smudging brush and the color Venus, which is a really nice, light, pearly, off-white color. With this, we're going to highlight the inner corner, which really helps to brighten and open up the eyes. I also like to bring this out onto my lower lash line a little bit. I think this helps the overall sweetness and youthfulness of this look. Then I'm taking my fluffy blending brush and the color Walk of Shame again. What we're going to do is we're going to sweep this over the brow bone and blend out the edges of the brown eyeshadow below. This helps it to look not as harsh and more natural. Then, with the same brush, I'm taking the color Venus again, and I'm going to highlight the brow bone. Then I'm taking my flat eyeliner brush and I'm going in for Naked 2 again. We're going to use this to line the lower lash line.
I only go about halfway to where the middle of my lid is. Then I'm taking faint again. With this, we're gonna line the very outer corner of the lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna just use faint to fill in my eyebrows. This color works well for me, but if you have a different hair color, then you might wanna try a different one. Your eyebrows frame the face, so it's important not to forget about them. I find that my makeup looks more complete when I fill in my eyebrows. Ah, oh, nice. Next, I'm curling my lashes. I like to do this before I put my eyeliner on so that it doesn't smudge off. Now it's time for eyeliner. I know some girls find liquid eyeliner intimidating, but this one is actually pretty easy to use. I really like the applicator tip on it. And like anything else, it just takes practice. Or, if you're not into liquid eyeliner, you could always use a pencil liner. A nice black or dark brown pencil could make this look a little softer. Then, using my lower lash line as a guide, I like to add wings to my eyeliner. Then time for mascara! I like to wiggle the wand back and forth to make sure that I don't get any clumps and that the lashes are fully coated. Check yourself out in the mirror and appreciate your work of art. And then you're all done! For the final look, I swept some pretty pink blush onto my cheeks and put on some sweet pink lipstick. And this is the final look.